God has a perfect plan for you. A perfect plan for every day of your life in this world. And an eternal plan for the world to come. In this time and space of our existence, the plan is clear. The path is straight. We are to surrender our hearts to the love and rule of Jesus Christ. We are to live our lives in obedience to the truth and reality of God's law. We are to allow the transforming power of God's word to make us more like Jesus every day. We are to rebel against Satan and the powers of darkness. We are to be revolutionaries and agents of change. We are to transform our world through the power of true love. One heart at a time. The kingdom of God is the reign and rule of Jesus in the hearts of man. Our fight is not against flesh and blood. Our war is against spiritual, non-physical powers of darkness. Our fight is against Satan and his government, of angels who try to take God's place. Satan believed he was smarter and more powerful than God. Satan controls the hearts and minds of mankind with a lie. The lie that the creature knows better than the creator. The lie that man knows better than God who made him. The lie that man can do whatever he feels like without consequences. God is the center of everything, true. God always knows best, truth. Man was created to serve God, truth. God will destroy Satan and his lies with truth. God transforms our hearts and lives with truth. We connect to truth when we connect to God. Living in a world of lies and fantasy we need to connect to God's supply of truth and reality. God speaks to us through the Bible, his word, and we respond back with prayer. It is a conversation. The more time we spend understanding God's word, the more effective our prayers will be. One is impossible without the other. God's word and prayer keep truth flowing to our heart. We pray not to benefit from God, but to become more like him. Everyone is a creation of God. To become a child of God, you must first accept God as your father. To become a child of God is a choice only you can make. A child has responsibilities to trust and obey. A father has responsibilities to love and provide. God is perfect and can only have perfect children. That is why Jesus died for us, to pay for our sin. When we accept that Jesus died for our sin, we become perfect in God's eyes. We enter the kingdom of God. We become the eternal sons and daughters of God. We have a personal relationship with God. We have a reason to pray, to talk to our Father about everything. We talk to him about the plan he has for our life. To build his kingdom. 
We understand the power of our fathers. True love is available to us. It is all we really need. In this life and the life to come, There is pain and suffering in this life because Satan's kingdom rules. When the kingdom of God comes, Satan will be destroyed. Everything will be perfect. No more tears. Only joy. That is why we ask our Father for his kingdom to come for his will to be done in our lives, on this planet, and for eternity. That is the prayer that should fill your heart. That is the prayer that should rule your life. It is the prayer of a child to their father It is the prayer of true love.